volunteer, right? Because I didn't have any experience in activism. And there were all these great activists. And the African American progressive community centers around Shape Community Center, which yeah. is a few blocks here. And, uh, you know, and so I wanted to be around those activists. So I'd just show up and, you know, I would pass out flyers and do all kind of stuff. But when they were dealing with that issue of police brutality, at a certain point they uh, wanted to, you know, the, the energy was just kind of disappearing, the media was disappearing and all that kind of stuff, and they didn't have any money. And I came up with this idea. I said, well, you know, I'll do one of these installations like I do, you know, and, uh, you know, to try to generate some press and some, you know, bring it back on the map and, you know, maybe we can get some money from people in the art world. And, blah, blah. and I did it, and it turned out to be really good. It was a good partnership with that community group. and. Uh, and, you know, but once again, it was one of these big billboard kind of like installation things and they held press conferences in there and all that kind of stuff, you know, it was pretty, pretty successful. But about a year after that, I had a group of high school students visiting my studio and one of, that was the story you've heard me tell, like one of the students were looking around and he came back and he said, you know, he was complimenting me on the work, talking about how, you know, he could relate to it, but then he came back before they left me and said, well, Mr. Lowe, while you work, you know, shows what's going on in our communities. That's not what we need. We don't need people telling us what the issues are. We need solutions. And if you're an artist and you're creative, why can't you create some kind of solution? And so that was the pivotal point mm -hmm. for me that just kind of spin everything around.